What is the overall energy for the sign of Aries? Just remember, I'll be going through the past, present challenge, and outcome. Keep in mind, the bottom cards are paired with the top cards. So Aries, in the recent past, we have the Seven of Cups. Now this is a card about choices. It indicates confusion and can even also point to disorganization. And you probably had too much going on in the recent past. This card, it points to a need to narrow your focus when it appears in a reading or it's appearing in your reading. So you were probably trying to do too much and doing most of it not very well at that time. You needed to choose just a few important things that were on your plate, work through them one by one carefully. You could have been feeling overwhelmed at that time. Just remember that you can, or you could have, controlled at least some areas. How much you were trying to take on, that would have been up to you. So how much you were trying to take on, you needed to control that, and that, that actually would have been up to you. Now that's the Seven of Cups, and it's paired with the Lover's Card. Now this card is associated with the astrological sign of Gemini, the twins. It's possible this, when this card comes up for you that you could have been feeling ambivalent about a relationship or a situation in your life. It could be that your heart was telling you one thing and your head was saying another. Um, the thing to do was to follow your heart. Some people say there are only two modes, M O. D-E-S, two modes that any of us are operating under at any time, and that's either fear or love. But if you can remember this, when you, if you can and you have that option to choose, always choose love. That's with the lover's card, and that's in the recent past. Now, let's move on to the present. We have the devil card. Okay, the devil card, just to see. Well, it's hard to tell uh, if you look at the picture, but I guess you probably can't see it. But um, keep this in mind. If you get the, when you get this card in a reading, it usually means that you shouldn't be letting other people tell you that your options are limited. If you come to that conclusion, be sure that you are coming to it on your own. Regardless, it will be a crucial time to remember that you can free yourself from whatever restrictions are holding you back at any time you choose to do so. You may have the feeling that you are not in control of your life. Sometimes this happens as a result of our own actions, but more often it's a byproduct. It is a byproduct of inaction, a byproduct of no action. So make sure you take action at this time. Take whatever steps you can to give yourself the feeling, however slight, however big or small, give yourself the feeling of being in control. Take steps. Even if that's merely, or well, even if that's only making a choice on what you're going to eat for dinner. Small steps are important too. And it's paired with the Fool card. Now the Fool card, it, it's an indicator of newness in one form or another. In many ways, it indicates purity, open-hearted energy, and the innocence of a child. Children are trusting, and trust forms the basis of meaning for this card. This is considered a positive card, but there's one thing. The one thing is that it's important to take time to be sure you're looking where you're going. Trust yourself to take a step into the unknown is one thing, but doing it without any thought whatsoever can be a big mistake. With these two cards paired together, the devil card, um, you're feeling like you're not in control of your life. Okay, uh, it's a byproduct, well, it's a, it's a product 
of no action. You haven't been taking the actions and steps that you need to control your life. So just take baby steps to get everything back organized again. And it's paired with the Fool card. Uh, you might be feeling careless about taking those baby steps. So just be careful and caution about the direction you you go towards to um, bringing, your, bringing yourself back in to a controlled energy. Uh, don't look up, look ahead. Uh, be focused. Don't just walk off into thin air. So um, you just want to uh, take your time with those baby steps and um, make sure you're focused. Okay? And that's in the present. Now we move on to the challenge. We have the tower card. Now you could be trying to you could be trying to hold on too tight to the status quo. Now that can be a disaster at this time. You need to roll with any changes. It's likely that some people or situations that you've counted on, they're no longer there in quite the same way. Now keep in mind this doesn't have to be drastic because change is the nature of life and trying to prevent it is going to be like trying to row or paddle upstream without a paddle. Also, if you have been building castles in the air, some of them could come crashing down at this time. Now keep in mind that's only a problem if you let it be. You will be able to replace them with some more realistic and reachable dreams and goals if some fantasies fall apart this month, dreaming is important, but it's also important to be living in reality too. Now that's the tower card and it's paired with the Hierophant. Okay, with the Hierophant, you could be searching for the meaning of life at this time. Um, the Hierophant is an indicator of a great loyal friend, uh, this type of person when they're called on for help, or advice with some important issues. Their intelligence and intrinsic empathy puts them in a position to, to provide tremendous support. Uh, so this could be you or someone coming towards you. It could also be someone you know that is quick-witted, well-educated, a wise teacher marked by integrity. Um, if if this is your partner and you'd like to know uh, how they're feeling about you, uh, just know they love you very deeply. And it's a love that cannot be broken. And um, that's the hair font. It's paired with the tower card. With these two cards paired together, you're trying to hold on too tight to the status quo. Okay? Uh, some people you counting on, counted on, they may no longer be there in the same way. Change is important. Uh, so roll with the changes. Uh, it's the nature of life. It's paired with the Hierophant. Uh, you could have a great friend coming your way. Or you know someone that's, uh, that's a true blue. Someone that's highly admired. They walk the walk and they talk the talk. Uh, like I said, this could be you or someone coming towards you like this. Uh, they could be very spiritual. Uh, if it's your partner, just know they love you very deeply. And um, if this person is coming towards you, they could be very helpful to you with uh, rolling with the changes of the tower. Okay, or um, if if um, or you could be meeting someone like this. Uh, that that'll be that they will be a part of your new change, a part of your new life. Okay, and it's a good thing because uh, who wouldn't like to have a true blue, uh, someone genuine uh, in your life? So um, that is going to be the challenge. Now we move on to the outcome. We have the magician. Now, this card, it signifies new beginnings and great expectations. It reminds us that we have the power to make a difference in our lives and in the world if we simply try to make it a point. Now, this is actual transformation. 
literally and figuratively. Okay? You are not going to have it all handed to you on a plate. Um, but keep in mind, you have the potential to have the plate and a lot of what's on it if you do the magic yourself. And I say that because a magician, it's all about action. Uh, with a magician, if you do nothing, you'll get nothing. And if you don't know what to do, then just do something. Because anything at this time is better than doing nothing. In other words, if you don't try, you won't get. The magician is paired with the high priestess. Now, this can be a spiritual card. You could be feeling re uh, religious or some type of um, uh, some type of spirituality. Um, some something like uh, I don't know. Well, I don't know for sure what you're really into, but the high priestess it's a it's a very spiritual card. Just put it like that. Um, and it often comes with sexual sexual overtones. Now, it can mean that you are in a phase where you're going to be much more attractive physically to others. Now, this card is tied to the moon, to femininity, to inspiration. It's a time to rely on your inner knowledge rather than your conscious mind or intellect. It's also important to pay attention Pay attention to your dreams right now. Keep a dream diary or a journal. Those things will be a great idea at this time. With these two cards paired together, the Magician card is all about great new beginnings and, ex and great wonderful expectations. Um, <clears throat> you have the power to make a difference at this time in your lives and in the world. You're the magician. Just remember, you have to do something at this time. Because if you don't do anything, nothing will happen. Okay? You can make anything happen right now. <clears throat> That's with the magician card. And it's paired with the high priestess. Um, uh, people are going to be wanting to hear what you have to say. They're going to be drawn to you. Uh, they, they could find you physically attractive. Um, and, and it has a lot to do with the fact that um, you're standing, um, you're standing powerful right now with the magician card, and others they sense that that you have the key. You, they sense that you have what it takes. Um, so keep a dream diary right now, so that you don't forget about the things that are important to you, because you can make things happen right now. Now is the time for you, and others will be listening, and they'll be wanting to um, probably assist you in whatever you're trying to make happen, because um, they feel real strong about you at this time. And that is the outcome. So Aries, I hope this resonates. As you know, general readings, they don't always resonate with everyone. Then again... If you like this reading, please like, subscribe, leave a comment if that's what you care to do. I thank you so very much for watching and have a great day.